Greetings, dear ones. I'm Crying of Magnetic Service. I can feel the joy. <laughs> joy is the lubricant between humans and God. When you have that in your heart, it is so easy to fly into you and your consciousness to love you and thank you, be with you. Joy. It's hard with fear and worry and drama. It's hard. They act as giant blocks to the psyche. We have to tread carefully. But we do it. But when you have joy, the door is flung wide open. And laughter is king and queen all at once. <laughs> There's joy here and more. This channel is not going to be an endurance event. I want to give you some profundities to think about. That's what I've been doing lately. I want to show you something you didn't expect. You've had teaching all day long. You've learned profound things from human beings. It's as, as it should be. The profundities should not necessarily come from the chair. Love should come from the chair. That's what I want to do. I want to show you something that you're not going to, you're not going to believe. You're not going to understand so much of it you won't understand because what I'm going to give you is beyond belief. It's beyond that which is three-dimensional. It's not the paradigm of life that you expect or you've been told or you even want, but it's here. And you should know. I want to talk about the entourage. You've heard this so long. The entourage of Cryon is here. What's your, what is your perspective of the entourage of Cryon? Lots of entities in little copper robes with a K on them. <laughs> For some, that's the energy. Entourage of crime. Oh boy. <laughs> you have no idea. The first thing you should know is there's no such thing as the energy of cryon that is imbued into an assemblage you would call an entourage. No such thing. So there is no cryon entourage. It is an entourage which is here with me for you. And it is different, very different. Every time it assembles, when you assemble. If my partner were to give a channeling in a closet, there would be no entourage. <laughs> because it's you that is represented, and you are the ones, old souls. Your actual soul energy is what attracts that which you would call the entourage. And when I start telling you who they are and what they are, you're not going to understand because they are multidimensional. And your reality is not. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Because at some level, some part, some of you will get it inside. And we'll start to say, aha, and I knew it, and I wondered about that, and now I know, and now I know, and now I know. The entourage is from the other side of the veil. You knew that already. Is the entourage God? And I will tell you, just like you are God, yes? And then you're going to start asking, and who are they? And you cannot use the word who. And the reason is because that would indicate that they're singular. You expect a name. Who's there, you say? 
And when you say that, a name will come, or numbers of names, or a list, and they're not. It's hard to even call them they. There is no word in the language that my partner is using yet to describe the enormity of the entourage that is here. Now invite that entourage right now because they know what I'm going to talk about and I want, I want to invite them to start pushing upon you in every single way that is their specialty. Pushing upon you the love, holding their arms out. You can feel perhaps their touch upon your shoulders or your legs. This is what they do. They give you intuition. They give you emotion. They give you feeling. And when you know who they are, if you want to say who, maybe you'll understand a little more. They're not individuals. They're... There is no uniqueness in them. It's like a soup of energy that has multifaceted faces and energies and purposes. Like a rainbow of light that is so thick with love it is a soup who knows you because some of them are very invested in your soul. Part of the entourage is what you call your guides. That is your guide set. The guide set, we have told you, do not stand apart from your soul. They are part of you. You may not like that. Humans want the guides to be more important than they are. Therefore, they don't want to think they emanate from themselves. They, they're part of you. They're a higher part. A split out, you might say, but they are part of you. And they change because you change. And the more light you have, the more your guides are able to assist you. You even think perhaps you've had a guide change and one's come and one's go. How, how, how linear. <laughs> it's you. And when you become joyful and you laugh, even they do and they change. They're here as part of the entourage. What happens when you get many guides together, three or four from every single human source and soul, is there's lots of them. Who then are they? And what is their name? You can't ask that. You can't answer that. They're a soup of you, of your souls all assembled in a group intertwining their energies for a special task and that is to push upon you their love. Imagine as you sit there the entourage which includes the guides from all of those in this room are literally looking at you they know your name you're all helping each other at this second in an esoteric way. What a system! Beautiful! That's just the beginning. We told you this before. There is joy here because those that you have loved and lost are here. I want to tell you, you will not imagine this. They're here. To whatever degree you will allow this potential belief they're here. The system allows it. It allows it. If you will know it and feel it, doesn't it make sense? Let me ask you, human being, if you depart, wouldn't you like a system where part of you comes and stays with your beloved? Wouldn't you like that? To sit next to them for the rest of their lives, to hold their hands and to help them through their life. Wouldn't you like, wouldn't that make sense to your love, mother? Wouldn't you like that for your child? Do you think God is less than what you would want as a human? And the answer is no. The ones 
you have loved and lost the essence of them the part of their soul that knows your soul is here and that is part of the entourage ah what a system it's real the entourage is you in so many ways oh it gets bigger let me ask you this if you take a look at your past lives I'm gonna ask you who was it and you'll say well it, it's me my past lives it was me therefore I'll ask you and whose soul was it and you're gonna say well it, it was mine oh indeed that means that every single past life you have had, you've had the identical same soul. Your best friend and higher self was with you every single lifetime. You see where I'm going with this? In a multi-dimensional way, part of that which is your past life soul energy has to be with you in your akash and it joins the entourage oh you're already confused you're saying something's wrong here wait a minute you said we know we have those we loved and lost are here how can that be aren't they reincarnated aren't they already on the planet doing work in other ways how how is this possible cry they reincarnate their other souls and they're also here in the entourage and they're with me all my life and the answer is yes and you say how can that be and the answer is yes you don't know what you don't know you want to singularize them all every one of them is in a box with a name with a face with an energy and that is not the way it is is God in a box with a name and an energy and the answer is no God is the great I am is the great you are <laughs> and you ought to understand that it's a soup of energy and soldom that is beyond your wildest concepts of perception in 3D beyond it beyond it the very ancients who walk this planet have an energy imbued into the crystalline grid which come forth right now to join the entourage in Sedona it's always that way you pull them from the ground they recognize you your name your light your work and they celebrate you and they push upon you and they have a language of light how big do you want the entourage to get dear human being before you understand how big you are you're coming into a new energy can you feel the wind blowing of knowledge of wisdom of recognition are you recognizing a little more perhaps of the largeness of the plan of the beauty God's not here to punish make you sad take away things any more than you would from your children who you love like life itself amplify that 10,000 times and that's who God is a family member who knows you so well that the entourage mix is perfect for you this is the time for you to make the decisions of life because the entourage is you and for you along with the others in this room where two or more are gathered there is God there is wisdom there is help from one another you just think you're sitting there in rows of chairs you have no idea and then there would be those who would say well why don't I see him and why don't I feel him my answer to you is I have no idea why don't you tell me why don't you tell me because they're here if you don't feel them and if you don't believe it then it's time for some introspection of what it is that's blocking you from God what is it blocking you from love it's 
may be the knowledge of the old energy, what you've been told, or the way things were, or the way they should be. Stop thinking and be. Stop thinking and be. Stop thinking and be. A unique entourage is here. It's not the same one as tomorrow's. It's unique, you know. It exists for you. So that if you would stretch out that hand to belief, you'll feel their hand take yours. That's the reason, best metaphor I can give, you're bigger than you know. That is the message of Cryon today, tomorrow, forever, because it's true. <laughs> and so it is.